Good morning. It used to be that heavy metal music and punk rock got a lot of blame for negative influences on young people, but the times are changing, and a punk band called Good Charlotte is leading the way. They're taking on a life-and-death cause, and they may just change your mind about the power of music. We'll have more on that story Tuesday, February 24th, 2004. From NBC News, this is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Suicide is heartbreaking at any age, but never more so when a young person takes his or her life. Sadly, it is the third leading cause of death for those between the ages of 15 and 24. But our national correspondent, Jamie Gangel, found a ray of hope for young people coming from a very unlikely source. It is called Therapy Rock. Punk rock bands reaching out to teenagers with a message of hope. Don't stop searching, it's not over. And one band leading the way is Good Charlotte, a double platinum punk band that's getting a lot of credit for its powerful anti-suicide message. I don't think I would have ever seen it coming. The last thing you said to me was, have a fun time with Grandma, Mom, and I'll see you on Monday. And I'll be waiting for Monday the rest of my life. I definitely think it is the most important song we've ever written. 23-year-old twins Benji and Joel Madden front the band. We get a lot of uh, letters from our fans, and we talk to a lot of kids face-to-face -face at our shows. And so many kids had told me that they dealt with suicide and that they thought about killing themselves. And they always ask me, like, what did, what did you do to get through the things you've been through in your life? And... I couldn't really give it an answer, so uh, we wrote the song. It is a far different approach than performers like Marilyn Manson, Ozzy Osbourne, and Judas Priest, who faced legal action and parents accusing them of glorifying suicide. And though it's been 10 years, Kurt Cobain's suicide remains a memory all too clear. But now punk bands like Good Charlotte, Third Eye Blind, and Blink-182 are reaching out to vulnerable teenagers, singing about alienation and depression, but this time with solutions. If Good Charlotte has connected with the audience, it is because there's a sense that it's appropriate to what the material is, to who these guys are, to who their audience is. Um, you know, that it's not some sort of just say no statement uh, issued down from on high. It is a direction applauded by suicide prevention activists. According to government statistics, the teen suicide rate in this country has tripled in the last 50 years. Benji Madden says he gets it, that he writes from experience. I don't think it, you know, we could have we written this song if we hadn't been there ourselves. And uh, I know that there was times in my life that I came dangerously close to making some really bad decisions. Many teens say they relate. No one even knew why he did it. He was about our age. Going through teenage lives, you know, little things can depress you. From 12 to 15, those are my dark ages. So, um, what I went through, I went through a lot. Shu, Hillary, and Jamal are all fans of Good Charlotte. They say the band has inspired and helped them through tough times. Like the Good Charlotte, you know, hold on, you know, it's like you know, hold on to your life and just you know, motivate you because someone's actually trying to tell you something and it's. Wonderful, I think. They weren't actors, you know. You, you felt the pain when they said that stuff. Like when their tears started rolling. You can't make that up. By listening to music, it opened me up. Like, you know, it made me not afraid to go out and, you know, go ask for help when I needed help. And by doing that, it just made me feel a lot better. And, if I make it through, I... and the impact is apparently widespread. The band has huge record sales, and as for Benji and Joel, they say they've achieved their goal. 
even just one kid hears it and decides not to take their life or decides, you know, to seek help, uh, then that's worth more than any record sales or any video, anything. It's okay to get help. You're going to miss out on so much. For today, Jamie Gangel, NBC News, New York.